Hey learners, I hope you are doing great and having good health and in this video we are going to explain about the electron configurations of basic introductions. So from your chemistry previous classes I hope you know the sequences of energies of orbitals uh, and I hope you know that uh, these sequences explains the sequences of energy of orbitals. So we know that S orbital can hold two electrons P orbital can hold 6 electrons, D orbital is 10 electrons and F orbital is 14 electrons. So from these sequences we know that that 1s, 2s, 2p are the orbitals and they have some specific number of electrons can hold. So we can say that 1s2 after that 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. 4p6, 5s2, like this. So we will follow the sequences, but in case of writing the electron configurations, when we'll write in its specific uh, elements, then we will uh, follow some rules. So I hope you know the sequences of these uh, orbitals. So from that sense, we can go next level, think about uh, basic electron configurations like phosphorus you know that the atomic number of phosphorus is 15. So we can go like 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and then 3s2, 3p. Now you see the number of electrons in different orbitals and if we just add you see that 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 so number of electrons should be equal to 15 here is 2 to 4 6 10 and 12 so there are three electrons that could be in the p orbital and this is the the electron configuration of phosphorus so this is the electron configuration of phosphorus i hope this is very easy for you now we'll think about the potassium which is 19 you must know the uh, the periodic table and in this periodic table uh, the number of atoms number is given in each individual element so potassium is 19 so according to these uh, equations so we can see that 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 and then there should be 3d but you know that before going to 3d electron will move first 4s now you see the number of electrons is 2 to 4 10 12 and then 18 so this is 19 so in d orbital there would be zero electrons and in 4s there would be one electron so this is the electron configurations of potassium think about calcium which is the next elements after potassium so this would be like as one electron more than these so it would be like 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 of course we know that a service orbital can hold two electrons so again 3d would be 0 and 4s orbital would be 2 so this is the electron configurations of calcium so now if you go further about uh, iron like 26 then we can think about that number of electrons should be 26 so following these uh, the sequence of energies of orbitals we can go like 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 now think about 3d and 4s we know that electron will go first the lower energy levels and then higher energy levels according to these rules we know that the 4s is the lower energy levels so 2 plus 2 you see the number of electrons that we can actually add is about the 2 plus the 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus so you see that this is 10 2 plus 2 4 plus 10 and then this is 18 so after 
it must be that two electron in the s orbital so this is 20 so the six electron should be in d orbital so it would be 3d6 and 4s2 so i hope you understand the, the electron configurations of iron that at first the electron will go first to 4s2 now think about copper 29 so the electron configurations of copper would be 1s2 2s2 like this this is 29 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d and 4s now you see that this is 18 to total 18 electrons in this till 3p orbital so this is 29 so we have more 11 electrons to put on d and s orbital so you know that copper has a different electron configurations because if we provide here two then it should be nine which is not the stable electron configurations of copper so in this regard we have to put 4s1 and 3d 10 because we know that when n s and n d where it is 5 or 10 it should be 1 and these electron configuration is this is actually uh, this should not be this is n this should be n minus 1 d 5 or 10 so when there is electron configurations like D can be 5 or 10, then 4S should be 1. So 4S2, 3D9 is not the stable electron configurations. So in case of copper, you should remind that this should be 3D10 and 4S1. So now if you go a little bit more about silver, think about this, it's 47. So as it is 47, we can go like 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d, 10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d, 10. And then you see that till how much you can go. So the electrons 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10. 12, 18, and then 28, 30, 36, and 46. So we have only one electrons to put in the next level, which is 5s1. So the electron configurations of silver is 5s1. If you go in the internet, it will have a different look that you know that silver is the next uh, level element after the inert gases krypton so we know that the electron configurations of krypton is 36 we also can write the electron configuration of silver like this krypton 36 so after that is actually 47 so we can add krypton 4d10 and 5s1 so this is also another expressions of silver think about uh, gold in case of gold we know that this is uh, 79 so we can go like 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d 10 4s2 4p6 4d10 4f14 5s2 5p6 5d10 and now it should be going to like 6s orbital because this is together 78 so the next orbital should be 6s1 so we can write this because aurum is the element after the inert gas of xenon so we can also write the electron configurations of aurum as like xenon plus xenon like 4f14 5d10 6s1 
one after this because previously we know that the goal 79 is the element after the inert gas of xenon so you also we can write the the electron configurations of gold like this so in shortcut we can use the electron configurations of silver is krypton after 4d10 and 5s1 so i hope this is a very basic explanation about the electron configurations i hope you know the sequence of these you can follow this and uh, we know the electron uh, label that the number of electrons can be held by the orbital is fixed in case of s orbital is 2 p orbital 6 d orbital 10 and f orbital 14 so this is the basic lecture about electron configurations those who are actually right now is watching this tutorial please do some practice with your uh, 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 with your uh, pens and pencil and then I hope this will help you to remember the electron configurations of each elements you just put that on your uh, uh, periodic table the number of atoms is fixed in each elements and then whenever you can actually understand that the process of doing it it would be much more fun for you so this is a very simple and basic lecture about electron configurations i'm coming up with another tutorials after this so take care stay well stay blessed bye